Hi, we're back in the studio here today at Davis Media Access, and we're talking about two of my favorite things, art and maps. And we're going to talk about how they came together in a new Davis art map. I'm Autumn Labbe Renault. I'm your host today, and I have three guests with me. Let me introduce them very quickly. On the end, we have Jen Cadieu, who is a graduate student in the UC Davis Department of Design. We have Mark Hoshovsky, who is a longtime Davis resident and the reason the map came into being. And then finally, we have Rachel Hartso, who is the city's arts and culture manager. So welcome to you all. Thank, Thank you, you, Autumn. Thanks. So, Mark, this started with your parents. Tell us the story. Yeah, so um, basically my parents really got me, um, raised me to really do exploring. I love exploring and traveling and going different places. And it occurs to me that you can explore on a lot of different scales. I've traveled all over the world, and you can, but you can explore even more locally. And so I, um, I brought my parents uh, to Davis about three years ago. And they're, my mother's 89, my, mother, my father's 91 now um, and I wanted to get them out walking and mm -hmm. enjoying um, Davis and exploring Davis basically right. um, and it was important for their physical and, and mental health to get out so um, that one of the and part of the thing is Davis actually has there's miles of green belts mm -hmm. in this town yeah. you may not appreciate it but just around the perimeter of the town there's 12 miles of green belts right. that's not including the ones in the interior um, so compared to any other city of size, it's, it's an incredible resource. Um, and so I started to tell my folks, let's go explore. Let's go different places. And we started to do that, but then I realized that my mother needed to sit down every hundred, few hundred yards or so mm -hmm. at her age. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know where the benches were. And I got into trouble. I would get out her part way, and she said, I need to sit down, and there was no place to sit down. Mm. So... I wanted to continue exploring and going different places with them. And I figured the important thing was to know where the benches were. Right. So I basically rode all the green belts and I mapped all the benches, <laughs> which gave me a resource that I could take them anywhere in town and know that when mom's tired, around the corner is the next bench. Yeah. And we just push a little bit further and we can do that. She can sit down. Well, while doing that, uh, I saw that there was a lot of other things along those green belts. Um, there is, and, and throughout town, there's great historical buildings in town, there's semi-natural areas around town, and then there's all this art. And some of the art people don't fully appreciate. For example, we have giant dominoes in town, yep, I've we seen have them. a flying saucer, <laughs> and we have a wall of dinosaurs. Just examples, <laughs> yeah. okay? Um, those all make walks really interesting and things to explore. There's walks around... Even downtown, not in the green belts, but there's a lot of art downtown. Yeah. So you started mapping all the art you found. Right. I think we have a map that has your original pinpoints. Yeah, we have that up on the monitor now, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. So this is where it started. Yeah, so I, I started to compile information from uh, the city uh, GIS data sets, their computer mapping, and things that I found, and I just compiled it all together. Uh, I realized... It was more than just, my idea was to create some threefold brochures mm -hmm. uh, that could be available at senior housing. Right. So that anyone coming in town to take grandma for a walk could just pick it up and go. But then I realized there were mothers that had children they want to take to the playgrounds and go out for exploration. And then there's visitors from out of town. And I thought, you know, this thing snowballed, basically. Right. And I figured, how could I create something that would capture a lot of that? Because it's really an explorer's guide to Davis. Mm -hmm. And... So I talked with the um, County Visitors Bureau, I talked with the Davis Art Center, got in touch with Rachel in the city, and looking for ways to improve this information, to make it more accessible, to figure out ways to reproduce it, and then to share it right. with other people. So you said it snowballed. What happened next? Well, so the, I started working with the city and Jennifer here to figure out how we could make more interesting cartographic maps, something okay. that was more appealing than simply my initial version of it. I'm a, I'm a scientist. I was fairly utilitarian. It's like, show me the dots. Um, <laughs> but I'm told I'm not an artist, and so that's why we need a little bit more um, artful right. um, play in here. I also created a um, my first blog site, which actually has all this information, my original maps, plus photographs of all the art. There's about 170, 180 different pieces in town. So that's available on this blog that I've created. 
Um, so now the next stage is working with the, these guys and figuring out how we can produce a map and, and get it out to people. Yeah. Do you want to give us a link for that blog real quickly? The blog. Oh. <laughs> I don't think the, I have it. You can access the blog on the city's arts website, which will be up okay, later. And, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. Okay. So then, how did you get involved with this, Jen? Um, through my academic advisor at UC Davis, uh, Professor Tim McNeil, he's mm -hmm. involved with the city in the Davis Pathfinder Project, mm -hmm. which is a great project that is in the works now that will be um, enhancing the wayfinding system for pedestrians and, and cyclists here in Davis. Okay. Um, so he linked me up with them, and they're looking for someone to take the cartography to the next step, and that's something I've been doing for a few years now, um, working for music festivals and doing the cartography for those. So through my, um, my research and my thesis work, uh, this has really helped to enhance that because my studies are about art in the natural landscape and curating big art. And Davis is a place that has so much green space and mm -hmm. so many people who love to enjoy it and people that are really involved in the arts community. So this is exciting for uh, an exciting facet of my research to see um, cartography and public engagement with with art um, in an urban landscape rather than a temporary festival landscape. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. What has it taught you about Davis, uh, being involved in this process? So much. I'm new to Davis. I moved mm -hmm. here in August and um, not uh, but a year ago. And I've learned so much about the people, how much they're impassioned about, about the town that they live in. And um, getting out, walking around, saying hello to everyone. It's a very friendly community. Um, people love their green space, and there's so much art here. It's changing all the time, and it's very encouraged mm -hmm. and supported. So one of my questions for you is when you have a, a map like this that is... We, we have a truck in the parking lot, and I hope no one can hear that right now, but I'll just own that. Um, so Davis is a town, and we'll, we'll touch on this with Rachel, where art is constantly being added. How do you keep a resource like this current? Well, we're starting from now, and we're going to projectively um, be adding to it, uh, updating it every, every who knows how often, it's whatever resources city, are, up to question. the city decide that. I yeah. think we have a visual now yeah. of what, what it looks like at this point, and I, I believe um, they're going to show some of the other images we're, as we're talking. Okay. But, so this is, uh, this is how it's evolved from uh, mm -hmm. Mark's original data points <laughs> to, um, to more of a, you know, a, a visually and aesthetically uh, appealing um, uh, process and, and map, but I imagine that the, the updating it is going to be challenging, mm -hmm. especially with Rachel on the job because there's a lot happening on the art <laughs> scene. Well, she has some creative <laughs> yeah. ideas that we've been talking about how we might be able to engage people in doing that. Right. Yeah. Um, well, let me come to you then because okay. Rachel and I uh, have worked together on the Arts Alliance of, of, of Davis and um, there's a, a website that's sort of nascent. It's it's on its it's coming soon. Very close. <laughs> Very close to being done. And there's a group that meets regularly that's plugging going to be plugging in content. But where do you fall in this mix? How did how did Mark end up you know connecting with you? And where does this fall in the city's overall arts strategy? So um, so what I am tasked with at the city right now is kind of doing this assessment of our overall arts resources, whether it's public arts or capacity to support programming or our ability to help um, emerging arts organizations right. grow and provide the support to them that they really need to get going here. And so um, when, when our colleague at the Visitors Bureau contacted me and said, hey, I have this thing, I think you might be interested right. in it, um, it was like a gold mine of data because it would take us so long to go out and collect that. Mm -hmm. So um, so the map, we had already been wanting to make a map and working on kind of looking at different iterations of maps and right. collecting and, and analyzing lots of maps from other cities to see what seemed like it work, would work well and graphically what we liked and um, just how to update our resources and really thinking at the same time about how this will fit in with um, sort of a more enhanced way that we would like to have people in the community interact and engage with art right. um, and with each other. That's really one of our big goals. Um, as you know, we went through this big strategic planning process earlier oh, in the dear. year with the Arts Alliance, <laughs> which you were part of. And um, really one of the things that we kept coming back to is how do we create better human connections in the community mm -hmm. and how do we use the art to support and enhance that. And so whether it's getting people to go out 
together to go look at art in the community, using our green belts and pathways to promote activity, which then promotes these kind of random interactions between people that create mm -hmm. um, opportunities to get to know your neighbors or opportunities to get to know your broader community neighbors who might right. live in a different neighborhood or a different part of the city or who might be visiting and how do we um, as residents here, how do we share our experience of our community with people who are here temporarily or right. just momentarily? Um, and so it's really, so I'm excited to be able to roll the map out and we, we have a new GIS technician at the city and so we're also looking at, to kind of respond to your earlier question, we're looking at ways that we might use this map to continually, um, the map is like the print version but we would also anticipate having an electronic um, program of an app of some sort that the community would use where they could be anticipating updating things as they see them or hopefully documenting the art and the ways that people are engaging with the art. Mm -hmm. So I hope, and there is a new, um, just a mapping program that we're kind of just rolling out and testing out on the arts website for the city right now that anybody can go and if they see something they can upload a picture of it. So it's not just about official public art right. um, or even official pieces that people have commissioned, but it's about ways that people in the community are creatively expressing themselves. So it might be that you have something some, fabulous in your home yeah, that's shared with the public. Sometimes you see a beautiful garden and it has yeah. some artwork yeah. there. I, I, yeah. I, do, I do want to, one thing that I, I forgot to mention, I do want to give credit to the fact that um, there actually have been three different maps of art in, in town that have, I tapped into. None of them were as complete. None of them actually matched each other. but. The university has um, a, a map of art. The C downtown business association, or what was that down? City. The city had a map. City had a And then there was a, a third map that I found. So mm -hmm. there was actually other contribution from other people. I just sort of consolidated it, added to it. I just wanted to make sure that people understood. It wasn't. I didn't start from scratch. How much time did you spend on this, though? Uh, somebody asked me that the other day. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track, but probably 80, 100 hours, I guess. You know, it's more just fun going out and exploring, mapping, uh, uh, photographing. I was just learning a lot of skills um, doing it. So, Getting fresh air and enjoying art oh, yeah. and helping out your parents and, Help my and parents. other folks. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Rachel, let's talk about the, the website a little bit more. Um, I, I, I know it's not quite live, but do you want to give the URL so people can just begin to get used to that? Sure, sure. I'm happy to give the URL. Okay. So. Um, it is artsalliancedavis.org. Okay. And we literally are just almost going to be rolling it out within the next month, I would say. So it is um, meant to be a portal to arts resources in the community. And really, it's an open book right now. It's, it's anybody who wants to be a part of that, um, we have welcomed in. And we have really strategically gone out and tried to invite people so that we have a real range of diversity represented there amongst arts organizations and non-arts organizations, people affiliated with the community, people affiliated with the university, right. Right. people that represent different interests in the community. Yeah, and from our perspective, I know I submitted information for Davis Media Access, and I can go there and I can see our mission and some photos and you know mm -hmm. representation of what we do. We're actually almost out of time. I told you this would go fast. Um, so the best way for people to get to the map is how? So um, c currently the map is in a draft format, so okay. we, it is not publicly available yet, but right. when it is available, it will be on the city website. Okay, which is um, cityofdavis.org. Cityofdavis.org slash arts slash is the arts, arts page, okay. and that's where all arts things are kept right. and housed and can be accessed. Um, but when it is released, we'll do a big blitz about it and have both print copies of it as well as electronic versions. And then I want to really say that our goal is to go back to Mark's original plan and have these printouts that are available in different sections of town right. so that people if they want to can pick up a hand version a print version and take a walk with it because that was really his original goal and yeah that's yeah, important uh, for us to respect and honor that yeah. sort of sensitive to the audience is that the, the older people are not necessarily going to use a smartphone Correct. they're not going to use a website yeah. but they will pick up a brochure that's right there at their senior housing or somebody at the bike shop will be just coming into town, renting a bike, and want to grab a map. Yeah, I think so for visitors, different it's a great audiences idea. is what right. we want to tap well, into. Well, I want to thank you all for your work on this. I'm excited to see it, and um, we'll have this great new resource. And I also can't wait to see what future art uh, arises and gets added to it. So, thanks for coming in today. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Thanks for your time. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, to Davis Media Access, Davis Community Television here in the studio. You can find out more about all our programming and resources online at davismedia.org. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Find us there.